Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. The best way to spot an idiot or a fool, it's going to be that you're going to have to look for that person who is cruel. Now let me explain it to you. When we see someone who doesn't look like us or sound like us or behave like us or even live like us, the first thing that comes into almost everyone's brain is centered around fear or judgment. What you're observing there is evolution and that's what you're witnessing. Humans have survived by being suspicious of things that we are all too unfamiliar with or we are unaware of. In order to be kind, we have to shut down that primal animal instinct and force our brain to travel a different path, which most certainly is no easy task. Empathy and compassion are evolved states of being. They require the mental capacity to step past our most primal urges. Cruelty is seen by some as a sly weapon to gain some sort of power. Empathy and kindness are seen and considered as weak. A lot of important people tend to look at the vulnerable only as steps on a ladder to get to the top. Now I'm here to tell you that when someone's path through this world is marked with acts of cruelty, they have failed the first test as an intelligent being. They weren't able to create new mental pathways to overcome their own instinctual primal fears and so their thought process and problem solving will lack the imagination and creativity that the most softest and kindest people have in abundance. In my own experience, I have found that many things to be true, but this one thing I have found to be universally true. The kindest person in the room is often the smartest. In Islam, the Holy Prophet Muhammad وسلم, exemplified unparalleled kindness and compassion towards all beings regardless of their differences. He urged his followers to emulate his example and treat others with empathy and mercy. Therefore, let us heed his teachings and strive to be among the intelligent souls who prioritize kindness in their interactions. For it is through compassion that we attain true wisdom and honor in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.